Hey folks, I'm Connor. I'm uh, one of the co-founders at DBT Labs. We're the creators of DBT, and I'm very happy to be joined by Sri here. Um, <clears throat> so many of you may be familiar with what DBT is already. Some of you may not be as familiar. So a quick uh, kind of recap. DBT is a, an opinionated workflow for developing data transformations. It's based on the software development lifecycle. DBT furnishes active metadata. So as you work with DBT, you produce metadata about the state of your warehouse, about the state of your transformation DAG, and it feeds into this actively updated metadata layer. Now that metadata layer enables us to create what we call a data control plane. So DBT can be the place where you build, deploy, orchestrate, observe, catalog, um, sort of everything to do with your analytics stack you can manage through DBT. So this is really powerful um, because it enables you to do uh, a lot of things that, that uh, end up being very important when you're managing analytics pipelines. It allows you to govern your data. It allows you to develop your, your transformations more rapidly and with more confidence. And so in short, DBT allows you to uh, develop data transformations more rapidly with more confidence in a way that is better governed. <clears throat> so. One of the things that we've seen um, with DBT is that um, many of our enterprise customers actually use multiple data warehouses. And there are a variety of reasons why people get there. Um, sometimes teams acquire the data warehouses that work really well for them. Um, sometimes companies go through acquisition processes, they bring in new data stacks, and they have, to dis they have to figure out how to integrate different data platforms together. So in AWS, it's like extremely common that we see our customers use a combination of EMR, Spark, Redshift, Athena, Glue, like uh, sort of all of the above. And we see this as a good thing fundamentally. Like people doing data work should be able to use the tools that suit their needs and their use case really well. But it can cause a problem, which is that you have multiple systems that you want to wire together. And that doesn't just work. So often, you end up um, writing scripts and, and sort of like building custom pipelines to bring things together. And you lose all the benefits of governance across the entire DAG. <clears throat> so we're really excited to, um, to be working on this thing that we're calling cross-platform DBT mesh, which is a way that with DBT, powered by Iceberg, you can connect together your DBT DAG across multiple data platforms and have everything kind of like fit together into one coherent data estate, preserving governance, speed of development, all the things that you get with DBT and that you love about DBT. So that's enough for me. I'm really excited to introduce Sri, who's a principal cloud architect at Moderna, to tell you a little bit about Moderna's journey with DBT and with cross-platform DBT Mesh. Thanks, Corner. Uh, hi, good afternoon. I hope you all are having a great time here at reInvent. So I'm, I'm Sri Pramila Kamireddy, a leader in data and analytics space at Modana. I just quickly want to uh, give a quick overview about Modana. I hope a lot of you have heard about Modana. We started a company in back 2010 with a mission to deliver greatest possible impact on people's lives through mRNA medicines. Modern, during 2020, during a COVID pandemic, Moderna played a key role protecting people's lives with mRNA COVID vaccinations. So we are over 5,000 employees uh, located around 17 countries across the globe. I just wanted to start with the key challenges that we had at Moderna in the data domain. So one, data accessibility and availability. So Moderna uses a lot of internal data, and we do acquire a lot of external data from external vendors. So for us, how do we make sure the data that we have in Moderna's ecosystem and Moderna platform is accessible securely across business functions? So for, for that, like how do we ensure, how do we break data silos and enable cross-data sharing to en en empower cross-functional business analytics? Two, sorry, two on the data governance. How do we securely um, govern the data and secure the data? Moderna, being a life sciences company, it's very crucial to protect people's privacy. 
and in adhering to our strong regulatory and compliance needs. And third, how do we scale our infrastructure? With data being the core of the organization, how do we enable various use cases like general analytics, now data science, now gen AI, how do we ensure we scale the platform and the infrastructure? To solve these challenges, at Moderna, we have adopted data mesh principles, and with DVD's help, we were able to implement a lot of these key principles aligning to Moderna's primitives. One, to start with data domain and the ownership. So we went from a centralized data team to a data domain-based data teams, where our data engineers, along with the business stakeholders and product owners, can focus on delivering a specific business domain problem. And the way we implemented that is we were able to use DPT, we create projects for each domain, for each platform in DPT, and now the data engineers and the domain engineers have full uh, capability of managing and creating their own models to support their business domains and use cases. Two, uh, we went from a uh, mindset of you know, data as a product, meaning we, uh, we started curating and building purpose-built data sets so that a business can readily uh, use those data sets for their analytics and the data needs. How did we do that? So we have utilized DVT's data mesh uh, frame framework here. So where, because we do have a lot of data sitting in our data lake, and we have data sitting in Redshift as well. So we, with DBT's data mesh, we were able to combine data from data lake, data from Redshift, and build data products using a single project with cross-references. And uh, another cool feature with the DBT data mesh is it does align and give us an ability to build the end-to-end -end lineage no matter what the platform is. It basically helps us with a com building out a common foundation with diverse technologies still supporting various projects and platforms. With us building data products, it helped us drive to, uh, no, to drive the self-service data platform and data analytics. With business, uh, where they have the data products readily available, they were able to build and bring their own tools, analytics tools, and be able to perform their analytics using their own data platforms. And fourth, on the compliance and the governance perspective, DBT's, we, were, we, we did utilize DBT's framework where we were able to put in a lot of data quality checks within the DBT models and also enforce a lot of metadata enhancements. So for example, we were able to uh, you know, enforce like every model should have a data domain defined, uh, be it be finance or be it be commercial, and we also had another metadata tag, which is classification. So with the combination of data domain and classification, we were able to streamline the downstream data access controls as well, helping with our governance. And lastly, um, DBT also helped us streamlining and maintaining the pipelines and the data products as well, making sure we have the end-to-end -end lineage end-to-end uh, -end cataloging of all the data products and the data elements that we have within our mData ecosystem. This, an overall, an DBT help, and it, it was a basic foundation of our mData platform. Um, let me talk about uh, one of the recent use cases where DBT played a key role in solving the business problem. Early this fall, uh, we were working on a project for the supply chain management, where uh, we had to build a key performance uh, metrics and the visibility dashboard for the supply chain team. And the goal is for us to deliver the Moderna vaccines to the right uh, pharmacies at the right time, so that we are not overshipping, getting our uh, vaccines expired, or undershipping the vaccines, so that like now we are not administering vaccines uh, to the right pharmacies at the uh, no, at the right time. So for us to solve this problem, basically we had to combine data from three different domains and two different platforms. One, our supply chain management data and the shipment data is in our data lake, and our manufacturing data is sitting in our Redshift. 
So we had to build a data product combining data from three different domains and two different platforms. Without dbt or dbt mesh, we either had to duplicate the data from one platform to another platform, losing the lineage and adding additional pipelines and duplicating the data. Um, but with dbt mesh, we, we didn't have to do any of that. It streamlined a lot of our data engineering work streams. So basically, all we had to do is create the projects in dbt. Uh, what we have done is we have created a uh, project, our uh, Athena project, with, uh, with the project status as public. When I say public, it's not public to the world. It's only public to our modernized dbt environment, where we could call the project and the models in the Redshift uh, project. So we were able to combine data from Athena, where the data is coming from the data lake, cross-reference that project and the model in the Redshift project, so that you know, we were able to build data products combining different domains, different platforms into a single, uh, single domain without breaking the lineage of all the data platforms. So what, what DBD Mesh helped us is reducing building the software engineering, the data engineering work streams, and helping us build end-to-end -end lineage as well. So now a business customer, if they want to see how this particular metrics came in, they could see all the way from the source coming to the ingestion and you know, coming from the projects and, and, and the lineage between the projects as well, so which help us deliver the project on time without missing the timelines where we could ship the products to our end customers without any impact on time. There are other key things that we could do with the DBT, helping our domain engineers. What we have done is, um, this is just to give an example, like you know, we have various tables in Athena where we made the projects as public, and we could refer uh, our you know, data product, um, all these uh, projects in our Redshift project uh, by you know, cross-referencing, uh, sending out the project name and the model name as the parameters, and that's about it. You know, that, that, that's how easy utilizing the DBD mesh for building the data products across the platforms. So what, what we have done, we went one step ahead at Moderna using DBT's framework. What we did is we built our uh, mData SDK, which is kind of a wrapper uh, a, 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 around the DBT, where we have enforced having the data quality checks, having the metadata, while engineers building the models itself. So which help, though it's data-driven, domain-driven engineering, we still enforced having the metadata and it still enforced having the uh, access control intact without breaking the data silos. So one, one of the examples is we were able to enforce adding the lake formation tags while building the data uh, models for uh, data lakes and you know, where the data domain uh, tag and also the classification tag that we are enforcing the lake formation help streamlining the down, downstream access control as well. With that, I just wanted to wrap up with key th key, uh, three key things. One, again, data platform is the foundation for any organization. Getting the data platform strong is, is a key for any organization's data success. Two, having a strong data governance and having a strong data security is key for any data projects for any organization. And three, having a scalable infrastructure, still keeping the cost under control, is a key uh, for the success of any data projects. With that, I'm handing it over to Connor. That's it. Thanks so much for coming, folks. Next slide. Oh, next slide. Thanks so much for coming, folks. Um, you can come see us uh, meet with the DBT Labs team at booth 1795 uh, if you want to hear more about DBT, cross-platform DBT Mesh. And thanks so much for being here. Thank you.